Okay, if you're one of the 37 people who watches this channel, you're probably thinking this video is really out of place. And it is, but it's only because I really love My Hero Academia, and one of the biggest mysteries in it currently is who the UA Trader might be. And there, this will essentially be a theory video, and there are plenty of other theory videos out there, uh, but they're all a bit too serious for my liking, so I kind of wanted to do a really fun one. And so I accuse Izuku Midoriya of being the UA traitor. Um, that's right, I am accusing the main character of the series. So let's see what reasons I can cobble together for that. Uh, stick around for the end, because I'm going to show you what lengths I had to go to to get decent audio. So in order to make this argument, we first got to figure out what Deku's motivation is. Because I think that's the only thing that would push him into being the UA traitor. So, hmm. I wonder what his motivation is. Oh, thank you, manga panel. So Deku wants to be a hero like him. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, like him. That's better. Essentially, he wants to... I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. Okay, so you're probably thinking to yourself, This man is insane! Well, not really. And let me explain to you why. One reason I think Deku could be the UA traitor is because he is a die-hard fanboy of heroes. Particularly of All Might. Now, uh, when was the first time All Might essentially threw down and went plus ultra? If you thought the USG arc, congratulations, because you're right. This is the arc where the League of Villains is introduced, and it is also one of the few times All Might is shown going ham against a, an opponent. Actually, now that I think about it, that happens very rarely in the series at all. I mean, there's the USG Nomu um, against All for One, and uh, if I'm kind of letting these two slide by, there's uh, the Sludge Villain at the beginning of the series, and uh, against Deku and against Bakugo in the end of term exam arc. Although the last two are kind of a give me's. Uh, moving on. Because when All Might punched Nomu through the USJ's roof across the sky, we as an audience were left wanting more. More of this sort of thing. Now imagine how Deku, who has been a super fan since he was a child, imagine how he felt. What he felt in that moment was probably far greater than what we as an audience felt. The amount of hype and the amount of adrenaline pumping through him. Now, he had no guarantee this sort of thing was going to continue happening in the future, where All Might would go ham on a villain. So he had to do something. He has to do something. So that he can keep getting this thrill, this, this ultimate form of fan service. He's got to find a way to contact this new League of Villains as a fanboy. He wants the fan service to continue. Another reason as to why I think Deku could be the UA traitor is because he is the narrator of the story. Okay, so right about now some of you are thinking, wow, this, this guy's genius, he's made a breakthrough. Well, thank you for your sarcasm, because I will now proceed to throw it back in your face. Deku being the narrator of the series is incredibly important, because we as the viewers only know as much as he tells us, and we have no way of confirming whether it's the truth or not. What I'm saying is that the classic literary trope of the unreliable narrator is being used here. Other examples include Gone Girl, Fight Club, and American Psycho. They've all been turned into films, so go ahead and watch those if you want to see what I'm talking about. But moving back to My Hero Academia, Deku is telling us the story, but what he's telling us may not be the whole story, uh, or he might be changing parts of it to make himself look better. What I'm saying is we could be, as an audience, we could get catfished <laughs> somewhere in the story. Uh, unlikely, but maybe. And considering that no one else actually tells the story in the series, we as an audience don't have any evidence to prove that Deku is being honest with us. I mean, is Todoroki really that aloof? Is Mineta's quirk really just his sticky balls? Is Monoma from Class 1B really that much of a prick? The truth is, you can't say with certainty, can you? Except for Monoma. That one's probably true. In fact, now that you know that Deku could be altering parts of the story or even just making it up wholesale, that should make my theory of Deku being the UA traitor just a little more plausible than you first thought. Right now, I bet you're thinking why Deku would do any of this at all. Why would he change aspects of the story or even make it up altogether and lie to us, the audience? And why would he make contact with the League of Villains and put All Might through the ringer? Well, the first one's pretty easy. Well, uh, he lies because it makes him look good in our eyes. And, well, I guess this traitor Deku will take any advantage he can get. Honestly, the way I'm spinning this, yeah, he'll take any advantage he can get. As for the second one, 
it all comes back to Deku's motivation and manga panel, you're back. And as you can see from manga panel, Deku wants to be a hero like All Might, the greatest hero, the number one. And what better way to become number one than by essentially experiencing it by fighting villains and watching your mentor slash idol fight these villains with you, more or less. And it's not like Deku's aiming for just some low ranking villain that's robbing a bank or uh, mugging someone on the street. No, he's essentially going after organized crime villains like Shigaraki, um, to a lesser extent All for One, Darby, the League of Villains. All these are very dangerous and very skilled villains that he's decided to go after, more or less. This is all just a practice run for him to hone his skills, essentially, to become the greatest hero. And that's why I think Deku is the traitor. It's his ambition that's pushing him to become the traitor. And everything he does is to achieve that one goal.